Alright, what's poppin' people? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Jan. I hope you are all doing well today. I really do hope that. Welcome back to the channel. I've already said welcome. Welcome to today's video, which is a Chelsea News video, where I'll be talking about two different subjects today. He hates Tottenham, he hates Tottenham, he hates Tottenham, but does he hate Arsenal so much? Willian, who is looking to leave Chelsea on a free this summer, could be on his way to North London to play for Arsenal, maybe. He could still definitely hate Tottenham over there, maybe even more so than at Chelsea. Sounds very peculiar, almost ridiculous, but Chelsea players do go to Arsenal. You know, lately we've had Czech and David Luiz go there, so perhaps there's a peculiar open relationship there, although there wouldn't need to be because he'd be leaving on a free. They'd probably give him a three-year deal, which Chelsea certainly won't. It could happen. And obviously, he's very, very close mates with David Luiz, so he'll have an immediate in. And they'd take him, man. They would take Willian on a free, and they would play him. I'm not sure how I feel about this. Anyway, we're gonna get into that. Also, there's a goalkeeping story. Chelsea have been linked with every single goalkeeper under the sun recently. On Nana, Gianluigi Donnarumma, Dean Henderson, and now it's Ter Stegen. We'll get into that in just a moment. But before we do get into all this interesting, compelling, and exciting content for you guys, I want to urge you to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so, because people don't subscribe, they don't get the notifications. Just hit the notification icon, it's important. If you want to help me out, like the video. All right, let's get into it. All right, let's save this peculiar Willian story till last. And start with the Ter Stegen one. Kepa has come back into the team since being exiled after poor run of form and who knows, a poor attitude problem. We don't know, only speculating, but there were obvious reasons why Frank Lampard felt necessary to bench the Spaniard, and he did. He looked a lot better since coming back in, young Kepa, but really, people aren't sure that he is the long-term solution for Frank Lampard's Chelsea, and indeed, just Chelsea moving forwards, and there's still heavy speculation of him being replaced. Interesting, right? Like I said at the beginning of the video, Chelsea have been linked with a whole host of top-tier, high-profile goalkeepers, Ter Stegen being the latest. Now, let me explain. There's some articles going around today that I was nosing around, and apparently what's being reported is a bit of a chain effect. Now, apparently Real Madrid are interested in Kepa Aretha Balaga. Obviously, they scouted him before Chelsea, and they nearly bought him for very cheap indeed, and ended up going with... Thibaut Courtois, who I think has been okay for them, but generally he's had awful spells playing at the Bernabeu, the big Belgian now. Bernabeu, big Belgian, I'm just superb with this alliteration. Anyway, although Kepa was ranked r ridiculously low in Europe in terms of his goalkeeping stats this season, like I've always said, he's a very talented keeper now. Real Madrid might be looking at his poor runner form and see an opportunity to purchase what is a very talented goalkeeper, which they will know he is a very talented goalkeeper. So they thought, right, he went for 72, maybe we can get him for 30 now because of what's been happening um, and replace the big nose we've got on goal. Sorry, my Chelsea bias snuck in there. Apparently Ter Stegen has fallen out with Lionel Messi at the Camp Nou at Barcelona, as in considering his future at Barca. Now, even if this fallout's true, I don't know if all that other stuff is true. Ter Stegen is obviously an amazing goalkeeper. For a while, recently, he was playing like the best goalkeeper in the world. Superb player. I don't know. I know there's this idea that Lionel Messi completely runs Barcelona, and to a degree, that's true. He certainly got him on strings with that contract he's got that every summer he can leave on a free if he fancies. So there's that. To be honest, right, I think Chelsea probably would be able to get a top, top tier goalkeeper if they want to come the summer if they do sell a Kepa. Really, at this point, it's just a case of how does Kepa perform to the end of the season and does Frank Lampard like, you know, he's been praising his attitude again. So what if he does come up big these next few months? Do these stories just go away and Chelsea keep Kepa? He has to show a great deal of consistency because this season he has not been good enough. He's cost Chelsea points. Now I'm on the fence with Kepa. I'm not one of these people that just want him out. I don't, I'm not one of these people that overly protect him. Fact remains, he has been poor this season, far too poor for Chelsea. And it's not a betting in period, this is his second season. So you have to be serious here, what's he going to do next season? He'll be at two years, say if he finds form again, if he drops right off again, it's just not good enough. Can Chelsea take risks on that? A very talented goalkeeper just going off the boil for months? They can't because it will cost them a top four space, it might cost them, you know, a trophy or something. So they need to consider that and players like Ter Stegen, 
elite mentality winner, 27 years old, you'd understand why they'd be looking at someone like that. But anyway, I'm just reporting the news. So let's report some more news and move on to Brazilian Willian. Oh yes. Willian is of course an important player for Chelsea, scored against Everton. Very, very industrious, uh, on and off the ball, talented player, massively underperforms in terms of offensive metrics like goals and assists, but an important savvy player. In a team with not that much experience, he has value. Although I, like many Chelsea fans, would be completely okay with Willian going this summer. Now, I'm not saying, and that's not because he's completely spent, he can still offer a team something. But Chelsea want to bring in high scoring elite wingers that are probably 10 years younger plus. So you understand why Willian would leave, because he's like, okay, you can go start somewhere. But even though you've been good for us, we kind of need to replace you now. Like even if it's someone like Boga to replace Willian or you know, Boga to replace Pedro, who knows, Sancho to replace Willian or another winger. Do you know what I mean? So like I said, Chelsea fans would probably be okay with that. Unless maybe it's Arsenal. Now Arsenal have loads of wingers. They have Saka, they have Pepe, they have uh, Bamian can play on the wing. They have, they have loads of youngsters coming through that can play wide, actually. And apparently they want Willian. Willian wants to stay in the Premier League, he wants to stay in London. He wouldn't go to Tottenham, I don't think, because of obvious links and reasons. And although Manchester United would probably be a good option for him, he does want to stay in London around his family and business. Obviously, Barcelona have always been alluring to him. But in terms of his family life, Arsenal could be just the solution. One of his best friends and his business partner, David Luiz, has gone up there. He'll be getting in his ear, letting him know how calm and settled it is over here. You could just come, carry on your family life, play in the Premier League, get a three year deal that Chelsea will not offer you and they'll probably pay you quite decent money as well. Because he's on a free, they can offer him a better wage. So you can understand why that would be really appealing for Willian. And there's been a lot of players that have gone to and from Arsenal between Chelsea and Arsenal. So it's not like it would be a peculiar revelation. It would just, it's just a weird one. I'm not sure how I'd feel about it. I would have preferred for him to go to Barcelona. Do you know what I mean? But then again, it's not like Hazard going to Arsenal or something like that. It's Willian. He's going to be 32, 33. I get it. It's not like he's going to start scoring 20 goals a season for them. But it is a weird one for me. He's got a really good relationship with Jose Mourinho. So I thought, you know, if it wasn't Tottenham, it would be Tottenham. Because it's a London club and it's Jose Mourinho. You dig? Although I'd see Manchester United really, really wanting him because he fills that massive void of the right winger in their front three. He would start for this Manchester United team under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Absolutely, he'd start over Dan James. But I understand with their ethos, they probably want someone younger because he is building a very young counter-attacking team over in Manchester. And although he's good on the counter-attack, William, it just doesn't fit the long-term build, does it? And they wanted to move from that model of signing older players. So, yeah. It will be really, really interesting to see where Willian ends up. And will he damage his legacy if he goes to Arsenal? I'm not so sure because he's leaving on a free. I don't think there's any, like, trans... Well, there wasn't, there wasn't a transfer request when he's on contract. In fact, he said he wants to stay at Chelsea, you know, met arguably with unrealistic demands of a three-year contract because they only offer 12 months. They've offered him 24 months. I don't know how you feel, but how do you guys feel? I'm really interested to hear people's thoughts and opinions on the Willian situation. How do you feel if you went to Arsenal? It's not him going to Tottenham. Um, he wants to stay in London. He's probably got this David Luiz feeding him information about how comfortable the transition would be. So he gets to stay in London with his daughters, his wife, his friends, his business. He probably doesn't feel like he's turning the knife too much against Chelsea because it's not Tottenham. And he gets his free year contract. What do you think? Get down in the comment section below, express your thoughts on this Willian to Arsenal story. Also, what do you think of the goalkeeping situation? Are you Kepa in or Kepa out? I think the majority will be Kepa in. But like I said before, it's important to note that just because he's found some form again, you need to be wary. He had a whole season of Chelsea at a pretty decent level and then dropped off. So it's not like he was bedding in. He suddenly dropped off from loads of Chelsea game time. So is that going to happen again? Is that a concern? Get down in the comment section below. Let me know what you think of the Kepa Rita Balaga situation. If you've enjoyed this content today, guys, I'd urge you to please like the video because that helps me out a lot. And uh, yeah, subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I do want to plug my social medias here because I'm pretty present on Twitter, at Chelsea Yannick. I've got like, you know, 
I don't know, 23,000 followers or something. But I want to plug the football therapy uh, socials. So Football Yannick on both Twitter and Instagram. Come follow me on Twitter at Football Yannick. And come follow me on Instagram, man, at Football Yannick. Because I'm always posting, whether it's me filming, talking about Chelsea. And often I do my live streams on Instagram where I talk to people about football, Chelsea. And that's really fun. Sometimes I take calls from uh, followers and we just chat about Chelsea. So make sure you do come and follow me on Instagram at Football Yannick. Right, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed everyone. Remember to swing by Football Therapy every single day because I upload daily, sometimes and most of the time lately, twice a day. So make sure you swing by. That's it for me. Enjoy the football. I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living. I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines. I rap through thought. Body bag the verse. Outline the chuck. In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle Yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble I only love this paper, sorry I don't I love me baby